with the Timbercross in Discover, Maine, and uh, I am in for an epic adventure. I am on the Allagash Waterway, and we're getting ready to kick off a five-day trip down, and it's going to be absolutely phenomenal um, over at uh, Church Hill Dam right now. And uh, we're going to put in here, going to paddle for a little bit tonight, uh, get oriented, find a campsite, but uh, it, it's going to be amazing already just the drive in here. It took probably an hour and a half or so on the back roads and it's just stunning. I love being in this part of Maine, um, but right now we got to get the canoes unloaded and uh, we got to get to it. So let's go crush it. Unloading the canoes and getting everything packed up, the excitement was in the air. And uh, we paddled a few miles up the lake just to get used to each other, get used to the canoes, because the next day there's gonna be some rapids and Dave wanted to make sure we're safe. This guy right here, he runs Canoe the Wild and he is the only reason this trip is happening right now. With over 30 years of experience, I knew I was in good hands. I told him I was on a mission to find some epic moose shots and he guaranteed me that this is where it was at. So we got used to each other, set up camp, and uh, just kind of relaxed and took it in, getting ready for the adventure that awaited tomorrow. Right, super excited it is day two um, it was a nice relaxing morning we kind of broke down camp I got up and enjoyed a beautiful sunrise um, there was actually a moose right across the way that was kind of cool to see and then um, went around the bend for a little walk and there was some of the distance and you know didn't want to bug them and just kind of taking it in and letting everybody be quiet but right now we just did a little bit of orientation getting ready for the the first big stage of the Allagash for us we're gonna be hitting the rapids here in a few minutes and uh, we're gonna go port to the side. We're gonna get some good GoPro footage, but uh, we've got permission to fly the drone here, which is legendary. So I'm super excited about that. So stay tuned. We're gonna hit some rapids. We're gonna get some drone footage. And uh, most importantly, we're gonna have a whole lot of fun right now. Everyone's geared up and excited. So enough said, let's get right on the water and uh, let's get this day going.
so far, everything on this trip has literally blown my expectations out of the water. I didn't even know there were 90 campsites. They're primitive, but super effective campsites all across the Allagash Waterway. It makes this super relaxing. And with the food that Dave's making, I mean, there's definitely no chance I'm losing weight on this trip. I'll have to find a different way to do that. But we're able to get to these campsites with enough time to really enjoy them and to take them in and experience the different sections. It's not a mad sprint from start to finish. It's really enjoy your time that you're on the water and in the woods. From sunup to sundown, this has been phenomenal. yesterday just really taking it in we had an amazing time heading over uh, the rapids right to start so that was incredible uh, for some of us that was the first time ever doing any bit of white water in the canoes so that was a real treat uh, I'm gonna adjust this real quick so that was a real treat and then uh, we paddled through the river for a while and there was a little bit of a little bit of turbulence but nothing too crazy um, and then across the lake and we came to the most incredible campsite last night and it's across from this beautiful marsh area um, and the moose I think right now currently on this trip I have seen 18 moose um, and I'm so blessed to have a drone permit with permission to, to fly the Allagash and I was able to get some epic shots getting fairly close by and the moose are super curious which is amazing and then at uh, right around sunset um, Dave and I, we, we paddled back a little ways and saw the most incredible thing. I'm sure I've already put the footage in here, but that mom and calf, just incredible watching them hang out, her eating, and then the calf playing, running up and down the, the shoreline. And just when I didn't think it could get any better, um, from the opposite side of the river, another moose comes out and starts feeding. It's been and, uh, just amazing and then this morning um, getting up at sunrise well before that actually staying up till about midnight and just the Milky Way just exploding the sky um, Dave and I were taking some photos I'll put them here so you can take a peek so just incredible so we got to bed around midnight got up around 5 when the Sun's coming up and sure enough I opened the tent and right out front the the fog is coming off the the river and there's another moose so took a little spin with the drone and three moose and just again just super curious and it's been phenomenal so just had a bunch of eggs and bacon and potatoes I mean that's that's the fuel you need to to paddle through so that was amazing and uh, just packing up and getting ready to start day three the fact that this is a five-day trip and at this stage I've already seen 18 moose it's phenomenal and the people are great it's just such an amazing thing just to be away from it all just to be out on the Allagash I don't know I am I'm, I'm super super excited and I'm super grateful to be here but I gotta pack up my tent everyone else is doing stuff and I'm just sitting here talking to you guys so don't get me in trouble I'm gonna get to work
Why the dramatic music? Well, it's steak night. And as you can see, we're excited. Each day has been remarkable. We've had amazing weather and the adventures each day have been unique and gorgeous. And today would be no different. Our last day, the rain came on down. It wasn't that we were worried about getting wet. We all had rain gear and it was incredible. It just gave a whole new sense of adventure just watching the rain dance off the Allagash. It's just stunning. Dave loved it. And if I'm gonna be honest, I really did too. I felt like it added just a completely different element. And I would have been sad if I didn't experience it. The wildlife didn't care. I didn't care. We paddled on, sometimes stalking, sometimes just enjoying. This trip has been remarkable. The things that Dave has seen on this river, I, I couldn't have asked for a better guide. He's been doing this for over 30 years. And see what he's doing here, he's pulling his way down the river, an old school technique that a lot of the old school guides still know and pass on. It's something that definitely shouldn't be forgotten. And after a long day of paddling, we finally made it to our final campsite. It was bittersweet. A lot of us were tired from the arduous day of paddling, but it was nothing that a nice hot cup of tea or a hot cup of coffee couldn't soothe away. I was a little sad. I just loved being in the forest so much, so I made sure to take one walk through the woods and just explore. Because across the Allagash, there's so much history just scattered through these woods and thinking about the men and women that were here before me. And on the last night, around 2.30, 3 o'clock, I step outside and seen something I've never seen before. It's like the Allagash was saying goodbye. The next morning, we all woke up slow. We'd paddled a little further than we'd expected. And this would be the last time we'd jump into these canoes as a group. We slowly made our way to Michoud Farm. And along the way, we're just taking our time, thinking of the things we've seen and thinking about the things that we left behind, the stress that had been pulled away. Truly could not have asked for a better experience with a better group of people. This waterway is phenomenal. And as we finally made it to shore, we loaded up our canoes and I had one more stop. We took a little drive down a dirt road so I could get the drone up so we could see this right here, Allagash Falls. The adventure out here is endless. It's relaxing, it's exciting, it's incredible. You truly gotta get out here and experience it for yourself. Go discover something awesome.